case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for faced with a larger than life fire ignited by a fake fur coat and a gasoline covered floor a woman was forced into a situation which resulted in horrific burns and extensive injuries this unfortunate incident which took place in a service station became the catalyst for a high stakes lawsuit in 1974 known as smith v jc penny company the ill-fated event unfolded when gasoline was errantly sprayed on the floor of an Ineo service station. This gas was then ignited by a floor heater, causing a sudden fire that was inordinately intensified by the ill-fated fabric of the woman's coat. The blaze left her reeling with extensive injuries and set the stage for a lawsuit that centered on safety and supplier liability. In the aftermath, the Oregon Supreme Court drilled deep into the case and delivered a verdict that found Ineo service station and Bunker Ramo, the supplier of the coat fabric, at fault. Jointly held liable, the court mandated both defendants to pay a hefty sum of $600,000 in damages. The defense fell short in persuading the court otherwise, as the latter remained steadfast in their conviction that the injury would not have been possible without the defendants' respective contributions. Bunker Ramo contested the verdict, arguing a dearth of compelling evidence to prove they supplied the coat's flammable fabric. However, the court remained unswayed, citing significant evidence such as cutting records and witness testimonies that pointed to Bunker Ramo as the inexpugnable supplier. Ineo Service Station took a different legal route, contending the impracticality of attributing and segregating damages between the defendants. Despite this, the court reiterated its position that a defendant can be made liable for the entirety of the loss if there is a substantial contribution to the detrimental event and if division of responsibility proves arbitrary. These arguments, though diverse, were inevitably dismissed by the courts. The decision was bolstered by legal precedents such as Restatement, Second Torts, Section 435, 2, and Danner v. Arnsberg, effectively laying down the law that a defendant's conduct need only be a substantial factor, causing harm to bear responsibility. The court further clarified that the severity of the injury cannot absolve the defendant of liability, even if it far exceeds expectations. While appeals were launched, the Oregon Supreme Court held firm. It provided a milestone reaffirmation that if a defendant's negligent actions contribute substantially to a plaintiff's harm, damages cannot be evaded. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.